everybody, this is Franco, and today we're going to check the waveform coming out of these two generators. So I have my little Harbor Freight tailgater generator, which I believe is like uh, 900, well let's say, I think it's like 700 running, 900 peak watts. I have the Predator 4000, which is 3200 running, 4000 peak watts. And we're going we're gonna to look at the waveform, so why is that important? Well, for sensitive electronics, the the quality of the waveform matters. If the, you know, the more the waveform departs from a nice, um, you know, uh, oh, I can't, a nice sine wave. Thank you. Boy, mental block today. Uh, the, the more the waveform departs from that nice, beautiful sine wave type of uh, shape, the more, what do they call it, distortion, THD, total harmonic distortion, the more that creates, the more uh, of a negative impact you can see on your sensitive electronics. So let's check this out. So how are we going to do this? I have here this cool little, it's kind of a combination multimeter and oscilloscope. And these things are about $50, maybe $60 on eBay. And that's what I'm going to use to check the uh, waveform. So kind of as a baseline, what I'm going to do is test the, uh, the power coming out of my outlet. So I'm, this is good old FPL and we're gonna we're gonna see what their waveform looks like so what I did was is I took the leads of the meter I shoved them in an extension cord you know this is ex this is very dangerous electricity is dangerous so here's my here's my disclaimer don't don't do this right uh, you can hurt yourself um, so here so yeah so we have the leads plugged into this extension cord along with an air conditioner we're gonna talk about that in a second and what I'm going to do is go over here to the other end of this and I'm just going to turn it on. And here we go. So we are getting about 122 volts and 60 hertz and the waveform looks really nice. So let's, uh, let's turn this air conditioner on. This, this air conditioner is 1350 watts. So I'm going to attempt to hold the camera on the, the meter scope while I turn on this air conditioner. So hold tight, here we go. And as you can see, the voltage dropped a little bit, but the waveform still looks pretty good. Didn't really make much of a difference. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on the waveform. Still a really nice looking waveform. So that's with a fairly heavy lift. That's a, a pretty large room air conditioner. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to start with the little Harbor Freight generator and we'll uh, we'll put some load on it and see what the waveform looks like. So hang on, give me one second. Okay, we are back and we are now, we are running off of the little tailgater. I don't know how much you can hear it, but it's about 30 feet away from me. Create some decibels, that effect, that's a fact. But you can see what the waveform looks like. Let's zoom in. So there's really not much of a load on this right now. There's hardly any load. Uh, voltage is running pretty high. And uh, I think this will tame down when we put a, just a little bit of a load on it. So what I'm going to do, I have a radio plugged in. Let's turn the radio on. <laughs> We're still running, we're still running pretty high. So I think this radio, it's, a, it's one amp, 120 volts. So that would be a, a 120 watts right now that that radio is pulling. Let's see what the waveform looks like. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's not a perfect waveform.
Okay, so let's do something a little more aggressive. What I have here is a little Black & Decker uh, miter saw or uh, jigsaw. So this thing is four and a half amps. So what's four and a half times 120? Let's see, that's uh, 400, 460. Uh-oh. Harbor Freight just kicked out on me. Let's go see. We may have run out of fuel. All right, we're almost out of fuel in the Harbor Freight generator. I had to tilt it so the fuel's running into the carburetor. But here we go. I think we're at 540, 540 watts coming out of this uh, jigsaw. Let's see what it does to the wave form. voltage is all over the place. So it's trying to uh, compensate, but you see what it's doing. That voltage is kind of crazy. The, uh, we're at 66 cycles per second. Alright, so that's probably about the I'll turn the radio on while I do this. Do the radio and the jigsaw. the air conditioner off the small harbor freight generator so let's let's move on to the predator 4000 i think we've seen what the, what the tailgater is capable of let's see if the predator 4000 is any cleaner the predator 4000 is powered up and this is what it looks like here with basically no load on it it's out there So yeah, not much of a load. Let's turn the radio on. Not much of a difference. Let's try the uh, jigsaw. Definitely maintaining a um, you know, better looking waistband than the head. Just see if we can zoom in. Alright. So the Predator 4000. Uh, looking pretty good. Let's uh let's go to the air conditioner. Let's see what the air conditioner does to it. We may even do air conditioner and jigsaw. So let's turn on the old air conditioner. Let's, let's 
throw the uh, jigsaw on top of it. Let's see what happens.